All right, welcome back. Time now to see what's clicking in Cleveland. For that, we bring in our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. What do you, Steph? Hey, bet. Jetsy. I almost called you. I almost combined your names. Jetsy? Jay and Betsy. Yes, yeah. Jetsy. That's Jetsy, the new name. Jetsy, that's new. Jetsy on what's new. Okay, Jetsy <laughs> on That <once> works. <laughs> Listen, we know how to have fun around here, right? We do. And especially when it's snowy. And the Ohio Turnpike is no different. They're having their second annual Name a Snowplow contest. And it starts today. You can submit names through November 20th. And they'll select 50 names for voting from November 21st through December 2nd. So the eight names with the most votes win, and they'll be announced on December 9th. So if you need some inspiration, here are some of last year's winners. Snow Force One, Darth Blader, <laughs> Snow More Mr. Ice Guy, uh -huh. Snow B1 Kenobi, and Oh Snow You Didn't. Oh, I like that. <laughs> Each winner gets a $100 gift card, and we have the link to enter on WKYC.com. That was probably my favorite story ever. I love those puns. Okay. On Wednesday this week, the baby gorilla at the Cleveland Metro Park Zoo turns one. Little Kayembe is the first gorilla ever born at Cleveland Metro Park Zoo, and it's 140-year <laughs> history. He is precious. Oh. So to celebrate his first birthday, the zoo is releasing its first children's book. It's called Baby K's Big Day and proceeds will help support the construction of a future primate exhibit. You can get a copy of the book at the Zoo Gift Shop and other Cleveland Metro Parks nature shops. All right, now we're gonna talk about our question of the day. Tonight's Powerball jackpot is the eighth largest in his history. It's actually up to an estimated $625 million now. So we wanna know, how high does the prize have to get to entice you to play? On Twitter, this viewer says it needs to be, uh, someone said it needs to be closer to a billion. This person is saying anything over 500 million. Uh, we also had some other responses. 400 million was one of them. And on the WKYC Facebook page, Roxanne says she plays every week. Doesn't matter how high it gets. And here we are with Terry saying anything over 500 million, so a little bit higher there. Now, for me, I don't normally buy my own ticket. I'm more of a group player. I know I'm doing this weekly thing, but uh, I'm more of a group buyer so like if the office buys a ticket yeah. this year this experiment is a little bit different do you two have a threshold i want a billion well, just, i'll take I just half never a billion. remember <laughs> it could be three billion and i'd be like oh i forgot to stop and we get a should ticket. do a what's new buy though we should you know you know it's only been one billion once that's only happened one time that it broke one billion dollars mm, i didn't win no. yeah me neither i okay. forgot to get a ticket <laughs> shocker <laughs> thanks steph mm -hmm.